So here I uh, <clears throat> stained this floor yesterday with the red stain, and then I used some water and a sponge there on the right to bring this stuff up uh, to remove the residue. And um, a lot more came up than I thought, so this is a bit of a problem because I want a darker color. So to me that says that this uh, stain is not penetrating the concrete and, and staining it, it's just staying on the surface, which I don't understand because uh, given I'm using the white cement. So here I've rubbed it off um, the sponge and pulled the residue up. Um, so what I'm going to do in this one area, I'm going to put down more stain, just keep working it in and uh, I think uh, with multiple coats and letting it um, sit a day or two between coats I should be able to get to that color. I want a darker color and I don't want so much um, different gradations like you see on the left there. A little more, I want some gradation, some change in color but not quite as stark as the stroke marks and uh, color changes you see like on the left there. So we'll just see how it goes. So here I've taken up um, some of the uh, stain with a ammonia solution and um, a sponge with a plastic scrub pad on the other side, wipe it up with paper towel. So what I'm seeing in the storm is that the concrete is taking the stain differently. Over here it's more absorbed more, um, which is what I want. And see up here you can see down here where I haven't taken the this stain off yet. So I'm going to take all this stain up and then just keep doing successive quote coats. The other thing I've decided is, we'll just zoom in here, let's just like, is I'm not going to, um, on any of the coats to stain, I'm not going to use a sprayer and a floor mop to spread it around. I'm going to use a, a foam brush and uh, get all my hands and knees, spread it around, rub it in with a sponge. Uh, it gives me a lot more control, it gives me the, the pattern I want. So in this storeroom I've encountered a couple areas where this white cement is not taking the stain. And you can see it very clearly here, over there. Let's just zoom in on that a little bit. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to use a concrete drill and some uh, concrete drills, bits, and maybe some Dremel. I'm going to dig out this area right here about a quarter of an inch down, do about a four inch by four inch area. And this is do the same over here, four, four inch by four inch square. Uh, jackhammer that concrete out or whatever, get it out of there about, about a quarter of an inch down. Over here I'm going to pour white cement and mix it with uh, water. Over here I'm going to pour white cement and mix it with that um, bonding agent as a substitute for water and then reapply the stain and see if I can correct this problem. This is in the storeroom so I'm not too worried about it. This area right here will actually be covered with uh, a tool chest. But before I move into the interior of the house, I want to see if I can uh, fix this problem if it occurs. This being a storeroom, there may have been some chemicals stored in here, uh, battery acid, uh, who knows what, that may continue to um, seep up even through the white cement and impair uh, the cement's ability to uh, take that stain. That's obviously what's happening here. So I'm going to try to fix this before I move into the interior of the house. So now I've drilled out two areas with a uh, concrete drill brit and I'm going to use that Dremel with a diamond wheel to um, thoroughly excavate the uh, that, those two footprints uh, get rid of the circular uh, patterns and then I'll fill it in with white cement, one with water, one with the uh, liquid bonder. So here I had these two uh, white uh, patches of cement that I put down. The one on top was mixed with water, the one on the bottom with uh, liquid bonder and substituted water. And I'll uh, start staining those tomorrow and see how it comes out. So here I have um, Uh, Jack hammered out two areas here, one here, one here, we got a quarter of an inch, poured new cement. The one on the left, this one here, I did with water, this one I did with bonder. And I got good results. I got uh, the stain was uh, being absorbed by the concrete, as I expected, the color stain. 
So I've solved this problem. And as you can see here, all this area where it wasn't taking the stain, and there's, it's, there's, there are a couple spots in this room that are like this. To me, it's pretty obvious that something was spilled here, some kind of chemical, you can, and then even broken, maybe like a glass jar where the spray goes out in this direction. And uh, something got into that cement and um, impaired the uh, ability of uh, that concrete, even with the even with the white cement over it, to absorb the stain. But once I jackhammered down about a quarter of an inch, I saw the problem. So this is just storm doesn't matter, and I don't think I'm going to encounter this problem in the interior of the house. But if I do, I know how to correct it. So here's a picture of the final um, look of the storeroom floor I experimenting on. And um, this is okay for the storeroom. I'm not that concerned about the appearance. As I moved into the house and started doing floor work in the house, I decided to use a rougher texture so it was, the floor would not be flat or smooth. It'd have a uh, non-uniform texture in it. And I also experimented with uh, getting a darker color. So I eliminated a lot of this yellow you see here. And it's more black, uh, red, brown kind of thing. But this is good enough for the storeroom. Um, and one thing also I learned is that you don't want to mix the polymer bonding agent in the cement. I learned that the hard way and I'll explain that in later video segments. Here's a summary of the uh, first uh, three months into this remodel project. I started in late October and then worked through November and December experimenting with the concrete stain, staining that storeroom floor. And it looks like I spent about $1,800 so far in 41 hours. Uh, next year I really picked up the pace, uh, started to gut the inside of the house, all the flooring. Um, so the, these numbers are going to get a lot bigger here in the next, uh, next, next year and the years after. <laughs>